The question says, find the HCF and LCM of 27, 99, and 135. So, first, we will carry out the prime factorization of each number. You will see this. And we express the factors in this form, which is index notation. Now, we are going to find the highest common factor, that is HCF of the three numbers 27, 99, and 135. So, one method is, circle the common factors that appear across the three numbers. First, we have 3, and next, again, another 3. Now, let's check. Is there any other common factors? No, because we have 3 here, but no 3 here. There's 11, but do not have any 11 here. Similarly for 5, it only appears here. Therefore, HCF is equal to 3 times 3. That gives us 9. On the other hand, if we already have numbers expressed in index notation, we can view it in this manner. I have 3, 3, 3. And among this, it has 2, it has more than 2, it has more than 2. So something that's common would be 3 squared. Similarly, check 11. It does not appear here and here. Similarly for 5, it only appears here. Therefore, there's no other common factor. Therefore, HCF is 3 squared. That gives us 9. So, this is the method to find the HCF using the index notation. Let's compare. It's actually the same. To find LCM of the three numbers, first we write the three numbers in this manner, which is using division. Now, let's identify the smallest prime number that can divide any of these numbers. That would be 3. So, we write 3 here. 27 divided by 3, we get 9. 99 divided by 3, we get 33. And 135 divided by 3, we get 45. Next. Same thing. Look for the smallest prime number that can divide any of these numbers. That would be 3 again. So here we get this. What is the next prime number that can be used? For 3, 11 or 15. That would be 3. So 3 divided by 3, we get 1. But 11 cannot be divided by 3, so we just copy. 15 divided by 3 will give us 5. Next. The next prime number would be 5. So 1, 11, 1. And the last one would be 11. 1, 1, 1. This is to complete the working. So now, we can see that the LCM of these three numbers would be So, to find the LCM, since we want a multiple, therefore, we look for the factors with the highest power. So, 3 cubed, 3 squared, 3 cubed. We can choose either one, then we just circle. Next, 5. We do not have 5, we do not have 5 here. So, we circle. And similarly for 11. Therefore, LCM is... 3 cubed times 11 times 5. Do you notice? 
both method gives us the same answer.